नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार आई एम क्लिनिकल डायरेक्टर ऑफ कार्डिक इलेक्ट्रोफिजियोलॉजी वर्किंग एट केयर हॉस्पिटल हैदराबाद एंड वी आर हेयर टुडे टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द कार्डिक कंडीशन वी कॉल एज ए कार्डिक एरिथमियाज सो कार्डिक एरिथमिया व्हाट इज एग्जैक्टली कार्डिक एरिथमियाज एंड वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो लेट एस नो वॉट एरिथमिया इज सो हार्ट इज नोन फॉर इट्स रिदम and this rhythm whenever it is going out of order means either it be it is becoming very slow or very fast these two conditions or it is becoming irregular we call as a cardiac arrhythmias means heart beating is not up to the mark sometime the circulation what we want during the exercise or during the running we have to increase our cardiac output and if the heart rate is not going up or you can say heart rate is not go- increasing the patient will develop the symptoms and this symptoms will be a mark of cardiac arrhythmias so arrhythmia slow and fast are very commonly can be detected by doing the ecgs and this ecg pro- provide the snapshot of how the electrical activity is going fast we call as a bradycardia slow uh, slow we call as a bradycardia and fast we call as a tachycardia and when it is becoming irregular due to the extra beats we call as ectopics and if it is having a persistent arrhythmia like psvt vt we diagnose and accordingly we treat it now coming what is the symptoms of arrhythmia so symptom of arrhythmia is the most common is the palpitation and if it is happening unprovoked it becomes very significant the other complaints are giddiness or dizziness the fainting attack is also a symptom of cardiac arrhythmia and most of the time this type of patient goes directly to the neurologist and they miss the evaluation in in full means the patient's cardiac rhythm has not been evaluated as a cause of his unconsciousness finally and not the least the sudden death is one of the manifestation of cardiac arrhythmias so patient who are very young and who has died all of a sudden the cardiac arrhythmia is one of the cause and it should be evaluated and it is become very important because sometime it runs in the family so genetical diseases are there in which one family member has died due to arrhythmia and it is the important that we have to evaluate the further uh, for other family member for this cardiac rhythm disorder now why this is happening so there are two types of uh, uh, conditions which will provoke or we can lead to the cardiac arrhythmias one is the structural heart disease any heart disease in which the chamber size is increasing means ch- heart chambers are becoming bigger or the uh, rhythm or there is a structural changes is happening it is becoming hypertrophy we call the hypertrophic cardiomyopathies or dilated cardiomyopathies or valvular heart disease if it is happening it will give it will provoke or it will provide the substrate for arrhythmias and these arrhythmias uh, may turn the disease also the disease which was not that much symptomatic it will become symptomatic but it is possible that if the heart is normal only the electricity is abnormal means there is extra connection between the upper and lower chamber which is responsible for paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia and which is curable also so there may be condition which may be uh, in which the heart may be normal or it may be abnormal leading to arrhythmias and what are the treatment it is very easily controlled with some time with the drugs in condition when it is going to threaten your life we implant aicd implantable impl- uh, automatic implantable cardiac defibrillator to prevent the sudden cardiac death in vt and vf patients and if the arrhythmia is happening on and off and there is a substrate means there is extra connection between the upper and lower chamber or there is a focus we do ep study electrophysiology study and rf ablation radio frequency ablation to cure the disease thank you so much with this information we will meet you next time namaste